Uh, if the old way worked, I mean, I think there's wisdom to that. If, oh, if Obama worked, Obama. oh, yeah. He's got to be talking about if Obama. Obama. I respect Obama, that. If the old <laughs> way worked, <laughs> I when, when, who came before Trump? Right. It was Obama, and Obama did a lot to tear this country apart. I do not remember when I was growing up having all of these race issues, okay? I really don't remember it. And then suddenly, towards the end of Obama, we started hearing all of this rhetoric drummed up. It became white versus black all over again. And I say all over again. I shouldn't even say that, because when I was alive, this was not an issue. It all became about race, and I really do think that they were laying down the groundwork for Hillary to run because they had already pre-selected her to be the president of the United States. So they started using that awful name-calling rhetoric, which well, they fell short of. What did Obama do that that dr drove backed up this the, race the police discussion. the police violence stuff? He backed up well, he the, myth, the, the myth of police. police if wrong, it's the myth of the police, police brutality. Wrong, I'm not done. If he, they're he, wrong, he, right. he added fire. Mm -hmm. He added gasoline to a fire that was simply untrue. The the myth of police brutality as something that was a problem facing the myth of the police. Myth of police Police brutality. Wow. 16 black Americans during so you, 20. So you 16, deny that the I, I deny, police don't brutalize black people and brown people? White Americans, they do. white Americans and Hispanic Americans Fine. are shot at a higher rate than black Americans. That's just so not a, true. It's 100% true. That's not true. Fact. Why are the jails you full of African Americans and brown people? Because we commit crimes at a higher rate than black Americans. Oh, and right. yes, we okay, do. Guys, that's yeah, a fact. That's, that's, that's another true. fact. But I think it's 100% a fact. Researchable fact. I think it is. Mr. Moderator, our distinguished guests, brothers and sisters, our friends and, and our enemies. I don't want to be a part of this culture. Um, you can stick around if you want. You can go watch the original video for context. I got something to say to Candace. She's probably never going to see this, but I just want to say my piece. Hey, Candace. Hey, girl. You remember high school? I remember high school. It was, it was quite a while ago. It was like 15 years ago. You remember 2007? I remember 2007. Um, I remember some very horrible things happening to you in 2007, and some very racist white children called you, including the mayor's son, um, and said some very racist things to you and threatened your life. That should have never happened to you. That was terrible. Um, I remember you sued the school board for that. I remember because everybody was talking about it. My family was talking about it. My grandma was calling up your grandma. Uh, the entire school school system was talking about it. It was a huge deal because the mayor's son was involved. And you had the NAACP backing you up when that happened. And they got you your settlement. You, sh I think, I, I think you should have gotten more, because I am always ready to let racists' pockets bleed. But regardless, NAACP backed you up. The black community backed you up. I don't know a single black person who was not backing you up. And I've read, I've read some of the like statements that you've made about that time and about how no one supported you um, and that everybody just threw you under the bus. And I do remember that. I do remember white people were very vocal about their want for violence towards you. It was deplorable. But that was not the black community. And, you know, a lot has happened since then. You've definitely made a bed for yourself. You're lying in it. Um, that's all good and dandy for you. You've decided to step on the necks of the people who supported you when you were at your lowest. And, you know, those of us who've known you for a while have just watched you. We watched you switch platforms in 2017 when you came out on YouTube. We watched you go from trying to fight the good fight to realizing the good fight don't get you paid and go into where the money resides. I would say I'm not mad at you for chasing the bag, but you're chasing the bag at the expense of your people. And that's some coon shit. Like, I, you made a career out of being a coon. So when you say you never wanted to be a part of the culture, remember, the culture is the one who supported you when no one else would. Paper gold. You see, black folks are chumps. If America were to tell you to bring all the rocks in this country to her, 
and she'll give you a million dollars for it. You'll do it. And the next day she'll tell you we're using rocks for currencies, chump.